Hello everyone, you all are welcome on my YouTube channel. So you know that I'm doing trigonometric question. So today also I brought conditional questions related with trigonometry, which is very important for SEE examination and you will get four marks from here. On this previous video, I uploaded uh, one question. Look at here, this one sine a sine b plus sine c is equal to 4 cos a by 2 cos b by 2 cos c by 2 uh, here sine a b c and here is a by 2 b by 2 c by 2 but now today we have a different question here is 2a 2b 2c and here is not a by 2 b by 2 c by 2 here is a b c now this one is different than yesterday questions so let's watch solution here one condition is given if a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degree a plus b plus c is equal to 180 so a plus b is equal to 180 minus c now look at here rhs we have to look at what is here a b c so here also a b c so here no need to divide on previous video what we did when it was a by 2 b by 2 c by 2 i explained that when a by 2 b by 2 c by 2 we have to divide by 2 when here is 2 a 2 b 2 c we have to multiply by 2 but here is a only a b c so no need to do here anything no need to divide also no need to multiply also just take both sides sine and cos so taking sine both sides sin a plus b is equal to sin 180 minus c 180 means no need to change so we can write sin and 180 minus c means second coordinate in second coordinate sin is positive so, so we can write here sin c 180 minus theta or c means second coordinate in second coordinate sin and cosec positive other all negative so here is sin so sin will be positive similarly we have to take cos here here both side cos cos a plus b is equal to what 180 minus c 180 this one is equal to 180 means no need to change so we can write here cos 180 minus c means second coordinate 180 minus theta means second coordinate second coordinate what cos is negative so we have to write here minus and here minus cos c because in second coordinate cos is negative so we have to write here minus now take LHS <coughs> LHS what is there cos 2a plus cos 2b plus cos 2c now we have to take this two term and always we have to use cos c plus cos d or cos c minus according to this sign we have to use formula now cos c plus cos d formula we have to use here 2 cos c plus d 2a plus 2b by 2 c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 2a minus 2b by 2 and last one we have to write on cos 2c after this 2 cos when you take 2 common here what is remaining here a plus b 2 and 2 cancel so we can write here a plus b when you take 2 common 2 and 2 will be removed remaining a plus b which is here similarly same here also when you take 2 common remaining a minus b 2 and 2 cancel so a minus b we have to write plus cos 2 c 2 cos a plus b is equal to what cos a plus b is equal to what what is here minus cos c so in the place of cos a plus b we have to write minus cos c minus you can write front and cos a minus b now we have to use here formula now which formula we have to use you have to concentrate here cos 2c formula here in this type of conditional quotient always we have to use two formula only either 2 cos a square theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sin a square theta now which formula we have to use it's very simple cos 2 theta formula either we have to use 2 cos square theta minus 1 or we have to use 1 minus 2 sin square theta now look at here R, RHS here we need minus 1 so which formula we have to use here plus 2 cos square c minus 1 
minus 1 we need in RHS minus 1 is here okay and next is cos also we can take common so here no need to use sine if you use here sine which what is the formula of sine look at here once 1 minus 2 sine square c we have to use this formula 1 is if you write here 1 1 is positive but what is here we need one negative and if you use sine formula we cannot take common also so either this formula or this formula we have to use but by looking condition here is cos c so definitely we have to use cos formula if here sin c we have to use sine formula just to take common hope you understand now here is minus one let's write down at front minus one minus two cos c cos a minus b plus two cos square c minus one now from this two term take common minus 2 cos c common what is remaining here cos a minus b when minus is common so this sign will change plus will be minus remaining cos c because 2 already common here is cos square c cos 1 cos is common so another cos we have to write here okay to after this minus 1 minus 2 cos c cos a minus b now look at here what is the value of cos c minus cos c is equal to what cos a plus b so what we can write here plus cos a plus b formula this condition minus cos c minus cos c is equal to what cos a plus b so minus cos c is equal to cos a plus b after this let's use formula minus 1 minus 2 cos c now this is in the form of same like previous video cos a plus b plus cos a minus b this is the formula of 2 cos a cos b cos a plus b plus cos a minus b formula of 2 cos a cos b if you don't know formula formula i I was already uploaded on previous videos complete trigonometric formula and you can watch there and formula is very necessary so learn formula cos a plus b plus cos a minus b formula 2 cos a cos b so we can write here 2 cos a cos b now just multiply minus 1 minus 2 into 2 4 cos a cos b cos c we have to prove minus 1 minus 4 cos a cos b cos c minus 1 minus 4 cos a cos b cos c so RHS proved hope you understand 2 question I will upload on thumbnail 2 so if you are new Please subscribe, like, comment and especially share with your friends. Spread the knowledge. Thanks for watching my video.